Hey, welcome back to the morning news. It is time for owning your outdoors. And now that the weather's finally starting to turn around, it's time to hit the yard. And this morning, our yard and garden expert, Doug Schroeder from Lewis, has some great tips. And this is the perfect time of year to seed your lawn. First, if you have spots in your yard, that's called spot seeding. And there's a number of products that are made just for seeding spots. They have fertilizer, mulch, and seed all in one container. You put that down, as long as you keep it moist, you're gonna have grass. Uh, the other kind of uh, seeding is called overseeding. Rake up the debris, try to get the debris and some of the excess grass off the yard. And uh, as you do this, it also breaks up the ground a little bit so that the uh, grass has a nice bed to seed into. Okay. Uh -huh. And as you get it all raked, then you run the mower over and pick up all your debris. So your seed has a nice clean plate to get started on. Starter fertilizer is a, is a key to getting grass uh, established. If you put a seed down, I recommend using a starter fertilizer. It gives the grass that extra oomph to get going. When you're done working on the lawn, then it's time to head into the landscaping to get some of that cleaned up. First thing you really want to do is walk around, evaluate your landscape, get it cleaned up, get the debris out of there, leaves. As you can see, the sedum is starting to emerge in the landscape. Uh, I have trimmed one back here already. What you basically want to do, it's all dead. It'll emerge from the ground. Trim everything back as close to the ground you can without actually damaging what is emerging. Pasta can be trimmed in the fall. I uh, have opted to trim mine in the spring. What is nice about hosta is you uh, can literally strip back the foliage from a hosta and see how we have new growth starting to emerge right here. So I've got a lot of this going on in my yard, a lot of grass. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, we actually cut it back. Uh, I recommend trimming them back to about eight inches and uh, leave that, uh, the green will emerge through that. Um, one trick that I do at my place is I take and bungee cord the grasses and then I start trimming. Doug says this is the perfect time of year to trim your hedges and your bushes, but if you have something that flowers in the spring, like lilacs, you might want to wait until after the flowers have bloomed and then go ahead and trim those. Usually if it's a, a shrub like a spirea, I trim it to the ground. There. What about lilacs? Um, I usually wait till summer after they're done completely blooming and then start trimming them then. Hydrangeas, I wait till they completely green up and then just trim what's dead. What about the daylilies? Is this a good time to split them up? Right now is the perfect time to be doing that. What you do is you dig the perimeter of the clump about six inches out all the way around. I get in there and just try to remove as much of the soil as I can to see if I see any spaces for dividing. And this looks like it's pretty consistent all the way across. You can take and just take and stick your shovel down through the clump. And you'll end up with two clumps there. One last thing I do with uh, my landscape is to put a weed preventer down. Okay. Uh, actually use a uh, granule weed preventer and put it through the landscape. And that'll prevent weeds coming up throughout the summer. You can find all of these suggestions at KSFY.com. Just click Sean and Cami, and then Owning Your Outdoors. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back with FastCast right after this.